Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to clean a synthetic air filter. Uh, this is a air filter from my truck, a Dodge uh, Eco Diesel 1500. And um, so I replaced the OEM um, air filter with a K&N uh, air filter here that you can see. And this is about a year that I haven't um, changed or cleaned it and uh, it's looking pretty dirty. So I bought this air filter oil and cleaner from Amazon and this is made by Spectra. Um, even though it says that um, it's only to be used for Spectra air filter because they also make air filters, it actually works with uh, any synthetic uh, air filter. And what I mean by synthetic is these um, usually pink fabric uh, type of air filter that is reusable or cleanable and you can reuse it over and over again uh, instead of the white fabric only air filter that comes with uh, OEM or aftermarket the one that you usually can buy from auto parts store um, so anyway um, synthetics or air filters like these and um, are actually reusable and supposed to be um, more performance oriented uh, it, it allows more air to go through supposedly uh, never been proven but uh, uh, that's not what this video is about anyway um, so this is this video is about this particular cleaner and how to clean it and oil it uh, properly all right so let's get started okay first thing first is of course with any product you would like to read the description and the instruction as much as possible not to make mistake uh, because when you make mistake uh, you're going to be wasting money and perhaps uh, could be damaging things all right so this is the oil right here um, and this is the cleaner so the white bottle is the cleaner and the clear one is the oil the oil comes later after you clean it wash it i mean not not wash it actually after we spray this cleaner uh let it um let water through and dry it completely then we would then oil it so there's a three-step process so the first process is actually uh spraying this cleaner um on the oil i mean i'm sorry <laughs> on the filter and waiting it to dry okay so to spray the cleaner first thing you're going to do is vigorously shake the uh, cleaner bottle to make sure that the chemical inside is mixed together correctly. Remove the cap and uh, get to a well ventilated area. And I have a uh, washable plastic cover here from my storage bin that I'm gonna be using. Uh, that's useful so that uh, any debris that comes out of it actually will not uh, go through or will not be on my cutting mat all right so actually first before you start uh, put the uh, filter uh, like this and kind of shake it up to, to remove the uh, the large debris as you can see a lot of it has fallen there there you go I see insects, mosquitoes, and all kinds of stuff. All right, so once that's done, all right, now we're ready to do some spraying. Of course, spray from the top first. This is from the bottom, by the way. So air goes into here and comes out here. So clean air is, from, is coming out from the top and we're spraying from the bottom. All right, even though you cannot see, I'm actually wearing a mask because you never know what kind of uh, chemical is going through these bottles. And what you wanna do is um, we're gonna spray from this angle, from the 45 degree angle here, and I'm gonna turn it around and we're gonna spray the other 45 degree to make sure that uh, we're getting all the angles and the crevices. Okay, make sure you switch hand because it does get kind of tiring spraying. 
to make sure that you have even pressure going through. It does seem that um, this bottom portion here that I'm spraying is actually a little bit more dirty. So go ahead and spray a little bit more cleaning solution on the darker spots. Especially here at the bottom. Look how dirty that is. All right. I'm ready to turn it around and we're starting to spray again from the top and I'm just switching hand too. Again, I'm, I'm spraying extra at the areas that I see is kind of darker. Switching hand. There's still a lot of liquid in here, so I don't know how many application this cleaner is supposed to be for, but um, just spraying um, abundantly. I'm not trying to save any money. I already purchased this for this particular purpose. So this kit, I think, is uh, $14 and something cents on Amazon. And I think it's worth the price for getting this uh, filter cleaned. Okay, so I just turned it around. Now I'm ready to uh, spray the other side. So this is the uh, the clean intake, uh, the, the, where the air actually comes out clean. And um, I like to spray both sides. I don't think it's necessary, but um, this ensures that we are going to be loosening the dirt in any way that we can. Now my hand is getting really tired. I'm gonna switch to my thumb. gonna turn it around and then spray the other 45 angle spray and uh, this one is uh, what I call trying to get to the bottom of the crevices so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold it up like this and I'm gonna sp just spray 90 degree into the filter from the top okay and I'm gonna try to spread the filter by holding it in a certain angle so that the um, the cleats actually opens up. Okay, again, I still have plenty of liquid in there for me to, uh, to spray. So don't go cheap spraying not enough liquid for this particular purpose. You definitely want to make sure that the cleaning chemical does penetrate every single part of your filter.
okay i think we got everything from the top and i'm just gonna go over um, some of the dark areas here at the back for extra assurance these are the dark areas okay turn it around again hitting just the dark areas Okay, that's it. All right, so we're gonna leave it uh, for 10 minutes and uh, we're gonna do a rinse. Okay, so right now it's been about 15 minutes. So I waited about uh, 15, I mean 10 to 20 minutes and uh, we're going to set the water to about warm temperature and <clears throat> we're going to run the water through from the top so that, remember, the air sucks in from this side. So a lot of the dirt are trapped here and what we wanna do is make sure that we force the dirt out from the top. So we wanna make sure that we do that first. So this is just a regular flow of water, it's not pressurized, so it's low pressure and you just want to go through to every single one of those crowns and you can kind of tell that the, the, the color will change from that pink oil color to a white color and the one that doesn't change give it a little bit more time rinse it so that it will turn into white so you just kind of run it through row by row Okay, I just got done with the uh, front. Now I'm turning it around to the back and I am cleaning the back um, with the water rinse. Again, similar, uh, we're just going to go through row by row first. There are some debris, a large one that you can pick up with your fingers, go ahead and take those out okay I'm gonna do a final rinse and the final rinse is again is gonna be from the top okay so from the top I am going to rinse it one last time to make sure that uh, we are completely rinsed out and clean Okay, next thing what you want to do is try to get the large droplet of water to, to drop so that we can get this dried faster. And I'm going to do this a little bit more aggressively outside, but uh, just for preventing the drips, I'm doing that a little bit here. Okay, I'm now outside and uh, I'm going to um, bang this on the floor trying to get as much moisture out as possible okay so you want to do it um, with the bottom down first and then uh, just a couple of times on the top okay that should be enough and 
I'm using a paper bag here and uh, you can just lay this I'm gonna lay this in the Sun um, it's better to lay this upside down actually so that uh, this side is the dirty side and if you have any debris flying etc it'll get to the dirty side uh, which is not a problem instead of the uh, the clean side So the filter has to be completely dry before um, putting on the oil and uh, to judge how is how dry it is uh, you simply just uh, uh, run your finger through it and and see if there's any moisture on the fabric okay so I'm gonna leave this in the Sun for a few hours I'll let you know how many hours it takes and I'm gonna be flipping it once in a while every few hours thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel thank you